conference. This is a movement that's happening because every time someone has been in a conference, they went on to do great things, went back to their community and changed, be became revolutionaries. And so take this conference, bring it back home, and change the world. Urban agriculture is important because most people on the planet live now in metropolitan areas, either, either in cities or in the areas around cities. A hundred years ago, most people were in rural areas. And so now it makes sense to grow food closer to where we have population density so that we don't have to transport food as far. So it's better for the environment. The nutrient density of the food is higher if it's closer to the point that it's harvested when you consume it. Uh, and then also, we just need to be, we need to have food in the spaces where we're existing. And many of us are in cities right now. So those are some of the reasons urban ag is important. But rice, in its heyday, could make you a millionaire planter in two crops. And that came from, not from Liverpool or Bristol or Dublin. <laughs> and in Burr, I've been in these places. Wasn't no rice there. Except an Indian restaurant underneath a pile of uh, chicken masala. <laughs> It's the countries we come from. My cousins in the audience and I come from. And we have to stress this story to our children. Yes. You know, these were not, we didn't come, we came here empty handed, but not empty headed. So who do we have here? Uh, my name is Alicia Howard, and I'm from Portland, Oregon. <laughs> I work for EcoTrust. I am the community outreach coordinator, but I just uh, finished up a fellowship uh, with the Farm to School fellow. I am born and raised from Portland. I'm also on the board for Black Food Sovereignty Coalition. Um, I do, I also have a vermicomposting composting practice called Deep Roots Worms that's located at Black Futures Farm in Southeast Portland. Okay, now why is it important to grow, for black folks to grow food? Tell me why and why. Everybody's got to eat. <laughs> Everybody's got to eat. It's important for us to uh, grow food so that we can be connected to the land, um, so that we can um, figure out all of the possible modalities of like healing um, that are available to us. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I'm the CEO and founder of the Sankofa Community Garden and Farm. Now, how important is growing food in the inner cities to you? Why is that important? Oh, it's extremely important. Uh, the neighborhood where I grow food at has not had a grocery store in 40 years. My question was, what is it black people don't eat? And then when we started doing the research and looked up at the, at the retail grocery stores that were in our community, we found that all the almost expired food came to those stores that served our community. So we decided with our produce that we wanted to grow our own food. And in 19, no, in 2014, I went to Cuba and saw community gardens that were feeding the whole Providence and I came back and decided that's exactly what we needed to do as black people. And as being a Black Panther, we always had community gardens. So it was an easy startup for me.